I'm Logan Crawford, and right now on Spotlight, we're exploring the transformative power of chiropractic care with Dr. Jason Ingham, author of The True Power of Chiropractic, Unlocking Your Body's Ability to Adapt, Renew, and Restore. In the face of a national opioid crisis, a doctor's book shines light on chiropractic as a vital, non-surgical path to pain relief and long-term health, offering an escape from the cycle of medication dependency. We're delighted to have this very talented doctor and author join us here today on Spotlight. We thank our team at Atticus Publishing for helping us put him in the spotlight today. And we ask viewers like you to support writers like him by subscribing to our channel and by purchasing his remarkable book that will change your life. The links are below this interview. Doctor, great to see you here today on Spotlight. Thanks for having me. One of the most intriguing aspects of your book is the fact that it offers alternatives to opioids and painkillers and the many, many drugs that people use to seek relief from pain. Tell us a little bit about how you believe chiropractic care can help alleviate this problem we're having with opioids in the nation. Yeah, it's been no secret, right? In the chiropractic community, we've known for quite some time that opioids and pain medication were being overprescribed. Um, the nice thing is, or not so nice thing, is now it's become sort of a epidemic or a nationwide sort of wake up call. So here in our community, we've known, you know, back pain, uh, most medical colleagues of mine don't really know what to do with it. Um, they throw medication at it. They sort of, I, I call it the hope and poke approach, right? Uh, medication, physical therapy, and then if that doesn't work, something a little more invasive. Um, and then, you know, finally, we're sometimes looking at surgery, and that's kind of what we're here to avoid. Absolutely. That was advice given to me long ago by um, medical professionals, and that is if you can avoid back surgery or neck surgery, do it. Because At all costs. it's not an easy recovery and there are no promises or guarantees that you will make the recovery that you want it to be. Ask anybody who's had multiple back surgeries, of course. So right. yours is literally a hands-on approach where you're looking to uh, sp spinal adjustments and so forth in order to relieve pain. Sure. Yeah. So we're a full service facility. So I have uh, four therapists that work underneath me, uh, two chiropractors. Uh, myself, I'm a chiropractor with a postdoctoral degree in sports medicine. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of a all encompassing, all under one roof, um, conservative care approach. So we kind of look at it from a lot of different conservative angles, uh, and partly because the other options aren't great. Mm -hmm. So we're sort of a natural first approach. And, you know, there are people that unfortunately um, need something a little more aggressive. It happens. But boy, if I can keep, keep eight out of 10 out of that, that downward spiral, I'd sure love to. Absolutely. I also love the fact that part of your inspiration for your career was your mother's journey with polio and her recovery from the symptoms because of chiropractic care. Can you tell us a little bit about her journey and what you witnessed? Oh, I'd love to. Um, so uh, it starts when 1978, I'm six years old, and my mom decides to see a chiropractor. And my dad, being from an uh, overly conservative medical um, family, I mean, four brothers, um, all of them in the medical field to some degree, um, and, you know, very, 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 very sort of just... <laughs> for lack of a better word, medically oriented. I always, mm -hmm. I tell the story in my book, if a doctor told my grandmother to cut her head off, she'd have done it. <laughs> and uh, times have changed for yeah. sure. Uh, but yeah, in 1978, I'm six. Uh, my mom decides to see a chiropractor. And, you know, having a father in the medical community, uh, I spent a lot of time in hospitals. I used to teach ACLS, well, not teach, but I used mm -hmm. to pass out the exams for the ACL courses and, and uh, I spent a lot of time in a hospital. And so at six, my parents get divorced. Uh, my mom is um, disabled. I mean, for more or less, it attacked the entire right side of her body. Um, and so she was left 
pretty disfigured, I will tell you. Um, the good news is, is as she aged, she was able to sort of hide it with her dress and, mm -hmm. and the way she moved and ambulated. Uh, but 1978, she decides to see a chiropractor and uh, six months of care, and you could not tell she had polio. Wow. And at a young age like that, I remember thinking, boy, this chiropractic office is so much more lively and didn't smell like death and dying. <laughs> and, you know, so at a very young age, I thought there's something to this. And believe it or not, and I know six is really young, but I was molded by my father that medical model was the way I was going to go. Uh, I remember my dad telling stories about my sister wanting to be a, a firefighter. And my dad would say things like, well, you need to own the firehouse so that if you want to fight fires, you can, but if you don't want to, you don't have to. So at a very young age, there was a lot of pressure put on us to, to follow in sort of the Ingham footsteps, if you will. So when I decided at a really young age to become or get involved in chiropractic, uh, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't seen very highly from my father, um, which certainly is part of the reason I wrote the book, to be honest with you. I, I it was therapy. It was, um, a very therapeutic journey in chapter one. I talk a lot about it. I talk a lot about how my dad's uh, dismay for me becoming a chiropractor. And, and again, it was 1978, so it was a long time ago. But boy, if my mom had seen a chiropractor prior to that day, I imagine that her prom in high school would have been a much different, a much different time. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. That's very, very profound when you put it that way, that it can be life changing. It can be life altering. It changed your mother's life once she started seeing a chiropractor. And uh, that's terrific and very hopeful to the people out there who are living with pain and other ailments that can be treated with chiropractic care. Tell us a little bit about your book, The True Power of Chiropractic. It's basically a blueprint for pain-free living, right? Tell us about that. Yeah. So, you know, here in my practice, um, and we have a very, very large practice as far as um, alternative practices go. Um, you know, what I found is that I was, you know, I, I tell my mom's story, but Logan, it's not uncommon. Um, it's not uncommon to see I call them miracles because, you know, we're changing the trajectory of people's lives, really. Yeah. And, um, you know, people go, oh, back pain, it's not that bad. But I'll tell you what, you talk to someone who's been in the ER with back pain, and I'm here to tell you, it's a big, big deal and a yeah. big problem. And so the book really is sort of an outline of, of not only my experiences, because <clears throat> I'll be honest with you, chapter one was therapy. <laughs> it really, really was. Right. And uh, sometimes difficult to write, um, but then the other chapters really are sort of a guide to, you know, hey, I have this problem. I have degenerative disc disease. I have sciatic. Our chiropractic can't help that. Um, but I'm here to tell you, we've helped a lot of people with things where, and I tell the in, in the book, I, I had surgery scheduled for Friday. No mm -hmm. kidding. And I talk about this person, obviously not using their real name, but I have surgery scheduled for Friday. I said, give me 30 days. Just mm. give me 30 days. And if you're still wanting to have surgery, um, I'll be behind it 100%. And, and I've never had someone go have surgery ever, ever, wow. ever. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. In 24 years, yeah. that says a lot. That yeah. Says a lot. yeah. That's batting a thousand. That's for sure. Oh. And uh, not only saving the pain and the discomfort of surgery, but also saving a lot of money for the patient and the healthcare system. I was in the hospital about two years ago for a procedure and I was there for 12 hours. The bill literally was $100,000. I mean, and most of it was paid for by insurance, but it's yeah. just mind boggling how expensive traditional medicine can be. That's one of the great aspects of chiropractic. It's relatively affordable and it's cost effective. Tell us about that aspect of it. Yeah, I mean, there's research out there that suggests that alternative medicine, chiropractic being the number one alternative medicine option um, is much more cost effective. 
Um, you know, and that leads us to that whole, and I talk about it again in the book, um, why isn't it more widely accepted, right? Why, why isn't um, something that's less expensive that has a really good chance of helping people not more widely accepted? And the way I explain it to patients all the time is I look at LASIK surgery. If you've known anyone who's had LASIK surgery, it negates the need for glasses and contacts, literally for nine out of 10 people. Mm -hmm. Yet it's not covered by our eye insurance. Right. But it's like, wait a minute, we're stopping the need for any future glasses or contacts, give or take. Right. And it's not covered by insurance. And it's just, and we've been fighting and, and granted, We've done gone a lot, uh, gone a long way. The ACA has done a great job. Our our state um, and local governance really is working very hard for things to be more widely accepted. And again, since 1978, it's a much different experience going to a chiropractor. Yeah. The education has changed, and I talk a lot about that in the book too, because people don't realize that the chiropractic education is exemplary. I mean, it really is. A medical school education without all of the things that we wouldn't do surgeries and and all of the rotations that really have nothing to do with chiropractic care um but but if you look at a side-by-side -side comparison it is very similar in fact um the x-ray reading the mri reading we get more than the standard medical doctor does and part of that is because the standard medical doctor isn't looking at x-rays and mris like we are all day right. so some of that you know kind of makes sense but People are often very, very surprised at the level of education, at the level of uh, board certification. Um, you know, as a chiropractor, you can't practice if you're not board certified. The reverse is not true in the medical community. You don't have to be board certified. You just have to have an MD degree. And it's kind of a scary thing if you yeah. really think about it. And an MD can do anything, like you said, from delivering a baby to stitches to helping you with your aching back. Right. Where you guys are more specialized when it comes to the human body and the skeletal system and the uh, surrounding nerves and muscle connections as well. Tell us a little bit about your practice, Advanced Spine and Sports Care in Chicago. Yeah. So I, I told you we're... we're uh, a very large facility. Um, I literally have curated um, a staff of, gosh, I think we're up to 12 now, um, which uh, is another labor of love, uh, but we're a very large practice. Um, I personally, my sort of sub practice within the practice is re really, really focused on uh, sports injuries. Mm -hmm. I work with a lot of professional athletes. I've been very lucky in my career. Uh, to sort of get into the little black book, uh, if you will, of the uh, of the uh, uh, professional athletes. So that's been kind of nice. Um, but I work with, you know, people running their first marathons, and I enjoy I enjoy that because it's just such a different experience and such a a, a nice thing to see someone sort of achieve a goal that they've been looking to achieve for who knows how long. So. My personal practice is very varied, um, but Advanced Spine and Sports Care, again, has been around for 24 years. It's hard to believe, uh, but we have really grown and we've been very, very lucky and very, um, it's just been a pleasure uh, mm -hmm. serving people and watching the, the miracle that chiropractic really can be. Um, and it's just, it's just been a wild, exciting um amazing ride is really all I can I, I it's amazing it really well it's wonderful your enthusiasm oh, to break down <laughs> yeah well your your enthusiasm for the field is palpable it's great oh. uh, you have a lot of energy uh, you have a lot of caring and empathy no doubt for your patients and I think they're blessed to have you doctor oh. thank you so much for joining us here today on spotlight oh it's my pleasure I appreciate your time my pleasure. And to the folks at home, the name of the book is The True Power of Chiropractic. It is written by Dr. Jason Ingham. It offers more than just insights. He provides a blueprint, a roadmap to a life where pain management transcends traditional medication, highlighting the profound impact of chiropractic care on overall health. I'm Logan Crawford, thanking you for your time this time. Until next time on Spotlight.